Bye, folks. Oh, no. Scones! Scones! Coffee! Back to Mexico, here we come. Ready? And Gas goes in there. Everyone doubted my ability to do it. Zach was screaming curb, and they were all mocking me. And I pulled it in like it was a, a Volkswagen Beetle in a in an acre farm land. I mean, it was just it was beautiful. I'm Zach. Zach, well, let's help. I will. I will forget your names. Do not be offended because I, just, I was scared. My name is Jenny. Um, I think it's going to be a great week. This is, of course, our biggest week of the summer this year. Um, we're building four houses. So basically heading into Mexico, it's, it's pretty simple. It's a red light, green light system. And so we're about two miles north of the border right now. And um, once you get to the border, you'll either get a green light, which means you can pass right on through. They're not even going to look at your vehicle. Or you'll get a red light, which means you get sent to secondary inspection and they could open your vehicle up, they could open your bags up, ask where you're going. Once you head through the border, it's about a 30 minute drive to to the to the orphanage once we do get through the border. Our tent. All right. <laughs> We've got cows, pigs, chickens, rabbits. We have our garden over here on the left. This is um, a project of Father Nicholas. Right there. This icon here on the left is of Saint Innocent. There, and we have a small relic. He was selected to be the patron saint of this particular orphanage, just simply because of his example as a missionary. School in Mexico is not free. That's something different than in the United States. You have to pay all the way, elementary school, all the way up through high school, and of course, college, so. Okay, ready? We're not, we want to get it like as, is this ours or yours? Uh, Thank you very much. Oh, You're welcome. No. Let me get a good spoonful for your beautiful camera. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, so good. I'm Anna Grace, and I'm Sophia. I'm Mark Friedel, and I'm Seth. Yeah. Um, who we're going to be building for? Jessica and Guillermo. Um, they have three kids, Josue, Samuel, and Camila. Guillermo is a bus driver, and he makes or 1,200 pesos a week, which is roughly 90 dollars, 90 US dollars a week. Imagine that. They have been renting, but have been in trouble making payments on their apartment and land as well. Yes, because parents live nearby and help out as they can. Yes, this guy and the kids will be there pretty sure every day. Um, I don't know that we'll see Guillermo, but um, 